for those of who let me get my brush i'll just start the video hi guys i'm melita and welcome to my channel In today's video I'll be trying Anne Nook's eye makeup tutorial. Now, for those of you who don't know who Anne Nook is, she is a 27 year old makeup artist from Netherlands. She holds a passion for makeup and her makeup videos are just amazing. You all should check her out. The people who know me are aware I'm not the makeup type. I mean, I do makeup sometimes, but I'm not really good at it. Um yeah. So I thought why not get a little help from the experts out there as we all are stuck at home because of the whole pandemic and uh, people are getting ready to go nowhere I thought let's give it a try even though this trend is kind of old but whatever 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 so without further ado let's get into the video so I won't be using the same products as she is using but I'll try to match the color and everything so that the I'll try to make it look the same I'll try also she has already done a base uh, and um, that's the reason even I did my base so so now she is using the whatever those are called I don't have those that's why I'll be using a uh, tape scotch tape i'll be uh, using it on my hand first so that the glue payoff is a lot less and it doesn't rip off the base with it and uh, yeah Whew. let's get started so right now i'm priming my eyelids and i use the mac soft ochre paint pot i always use this one i really like it and then after applying i'm setting it with this anastasia beverly hills powder in the shade vanilla which comes in their powder contour kit Okay, next. Then I'm going to use this light brown shade. I'm going to blend this all over my crease. I really want it to be a lot of this product in my crease. So I'm just going to blend it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then I'm going in with the shade Cray Cray, which is slightly warmer and also slightly darker. I'm taking a blending brush, which has more of a precise point and really focusing in that crease. So this shade, I don't want to be like all over the place like I did with the previous shade, but this one I want to be like a little bit more focused in my crease to give a little bit more definition, warmth and darkness. Then I'm going to take the shade Oddball, which is like a matte black shade, super pigmented. I swatched it on my finger like the day before filming this and I couldn't even get it off my finger. So it's really intense. I used a Morphe M507 brush to create a sort of line in my crease. And then to blend it out, I'm going in with this reddish burgundy shade. Wait, 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 lady. Shade. And I'm going to blend this around the edges to make it blend into the shades I applied before, like the brown cray cray shade. Um, and why I applied the darkness is because I really want this to be more of a dramatic smoke eye. I just want to show you like what you can do with this palette. So now I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm going to apply this over. over my eyelid and also right below my crease to create a very sharp effect and let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more videos using this palette for my first look i just wanted to do like my signature cut crease something dramatic because there are already so many videos using this palette online Thank you. 
and uh, most of them are like more neutral looks so I wanted to do like the most dramatic look that came in my mind then I'm going to use this okie dokie shade again and I'm going to apply a little bit of that in my inner corner area just to kind of brighten it up and I want to create a sort of ombre so that's why I'm starting with this light shade then I'm going to take this light golden shade applying this like next to that white shade and I also sprayed a little bit of fix plus spray on my brush to make it wet so it's looking a little bit more metallic um, I always do this this is nothing to do with this palette but I just really like to do this with metallic eyeshadows then I'm going to take the shade Rodonculus, applying this in the middle part of my eyelid. Again, I made my brush a little bit wet to get a little bit more pigmentation. Also applying it slightly on top of that light golden shade to kind of make these shades uh, blend into each other. I also used my finger just to try out if that gave more pigmentation, but it was kind of looking the same. Then I'm going in with that reddish. Please breathe. I tried blending it in with all the power and knowledge I had within me. That's the best, I guess. Reddish burgundy shade again, pressing this in my outer V area, um, slightly on top of that Rodonculus eyeshadow uh, to give it a different twist. <laughs> it kind of gives gets more of a reddish color since I'm applying it on top of it. And then I'm going to use that matte black shade, applying this in my crease. No, not in my crease, in my outer V and trying to blend it up a bit upwards. And since I have already applied it there, it's really easy to connect my crease with my eyelid. Then I'm using the MAC Mixing Medium, pressing this softly on the eyelid. Then I'm taking this MAC Reflex Gold Glitter and pressing this right on top of it. I'm skipping the glitter part because I've already messed up a lot so I'll directly jump to the liner. I did the blending and everything and uh, the eyeliner thing off camera and also the base which were a little ripped off because of the tape situation and also the blush I did off camera. So um, me with the so with the help of my sister I thought of putting together an outfit which goes with the look I hope it looks good so let's try the outfit Woo! so guys what do y'all think? I personally don't hate this because I didn't expect it to be even half of what it's looking like even half of what it's looking like even half of what it's looking like right now Okay, I've never ever tried cut crease in my entire life and this was my first time and I thought, I didn't think it will be even half of what I just said that. Okay, so I really like how it turned out even though it's not the best but it's not the worst. So if you all like this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel and let me know what video should I make next. Follow me on my Instagram, the handle is in the description. Thank you guys so much. See you all later. Bye.